Hello everyone, my name is Serena Nichols. I'm the special liaison to First Lady Kathy Justice. And I am joined here with some very special people. First, we have Governor Jim Justice, Indian baby dog. And then we have a very special person who is our, why we are here today. And it is our Rhododendron Award recipient. So to give you a little bit of background, the First Lady's Rhododendron Award recognizes individuals in West Virginia who demonstrated goodness and helped their communities and they are kind of the unsung heroes in West Virginia because they do it out of the goodness of their hearts. And so the book, we have our special Rendendron Award for sending it with us. And I actually have a personal connection to her as I met her many years ago when many may remember the devastating flood that swept through West Virginia in summer of 2016. Our Rendendron Award recipient was great. She helped my grandparents and she had no reason other than out of the goodness of her heart to be there. She saw the need and she knew people needed help and she knew the, she had the ability to help. So she went out and she jumped right on in there. But to give you a little bit more background on her, she is from Hurricane. She is a Putnam County girl, as am I. And I um, know she is a wife and mother of two wonderful children. Outside of her greatness of helping out the flood, she also has been on the board of directors and the fundraising committee for the Ronald McDonald House in Huntington for over seven years. She's truly great, and I'm going to hand it over to Godless, the governor to just introduce her and tell you a little bit more about her. Well, Springer, thank you so much. And, uh, and this lady right here, you know, Prandy goes back a long ways. She, was, she told me just a second ago, she said, you know, I played against you, you know, I was coaching at Great Marie's. She was at Summers County. Probably beat us to death and everything, but nevertheless, uh, what an incredible lady and everything. Brandy Jones, and now now you're the recipient, the recipient of something that Kathy and all these great ladies and everything here, you know, have come up with and everything. They wrote a Denver Award and everything, and it is an award not only for greatness and everything that uh, that you're bringing to the table, but it's it's an award for your your heart, your commitment, your sincerity of love for all community and all and all that you do every day. You know, you probably developed that great heart being an athlete and everything. So. <laughs> but with all of that, we could never be more proud of you. You know, so I present to you, Bradley Jones. And, and this incredible war. Kathy couldn't be here with you today and everything, or she'd be here doing all this. She's a little out of the weather. She's doing great, but a little out of the weather. But uh, some way, Baby Dog and I got drafted, and that's really, that really made my day. Thank you for so free. I agree. I agree. Oh, pardon. Like I said, it made my day. So can we can we do this, Baby? Absolutely. Yeah, it's so bright. Now, exactly what we did here, Baby. Well, we just kind of keep it together for Ron. Is that correct? Yeah, she can open it on up. It has a whole letter. Okay. Ron, thank you. Why don't you open it up? It's beautiful. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, if you'd like, you could also read what's on the inside. Okay, it says, The Rhododendron Award is proudly presented to Brandy Jones. The Rhododendron Award is an initiative of First Lady Kathy Justice. The purpose of the award is to bring recognition to West Virginia individuals who have demonstrated goodness and work for the betterment of their communities. Sorry. Um, First Lady Justice believes that so often in life, there are many unsung heroes. She seeks to recognize those who may not always be noticed or in the news, but whose work often made a significant difference. Wow. That's very, that is very nice. Um, and I do, I so greatly, greatly appreciate on this and, and the, and the, and the honor and the award. Um, but it's just being a good person, right? Like you, you have the ability to do things. We all do. Like we can literally make a difference. Anybody can, you just have to put your, your mind to it and, and make yourself find the resources. There's tons of them out there. Be the resource, right? Like if it's not getting done, you do it. And, and that's kind of where my heart is. I just, I think that there's a lot of negative that we could focus on in the world. Um, 
but I don't want to do that because it doesn't, that doesn't help me. It doesn't, it doesn't make for a good world for my children. And I don't want to live in that world. Right. So, um, I think that this is, this is really nice. I just, um, I hope that other people will just take the initiative and, and just be a good, decent human. And if you can make a difference then then to do that, because it's really important and clearly, um, people don't forget. Well, I know that my family will definitely never forget you. My grandparents still to this day talk about how grateful you are. And I'm sure there's people out in that community that you brought clothing to or water or anything that still think about you. They may not remember your name, but they remember your presence and they remember how much you helped. And I know that in many circumstances, you are just the light in a lot of people's lives. So I appreciate that very much. Your family will always be very, very special to me. Well, oh. It's real great stuff. I mean, I, I can remember like yesterday, the flood of 2016, when the water started and just wouldn't quit. And I can, I can tell you, you know, we, we hired a little 14 year old girl, Michaela Phillips for six weeks and found her miles and miles and miles downstream. Yeah. I and, mounted, uh, um, a, a girl that I know, um, her daughter was involved. Um, what Dana followed that story and was waiting for the credit. So I know how far that I had to go back. But the people stepped up, you know, that are just exactly what you are. They're one of our heroes that stepped up and, and, and literally, you know, did all you could do, reached out a kind hand, absolutely found the resources. Absolutely had the energy and the enthusiasm where people were really, really down and they were playing, you know, and so lots and lots of good. So we got, Randy, I, I love you with all my soul. I'll thank you forever. Okay, well, so, well then we're we'll going to get dinner sometime. Okay. I'll match up with that because I do need to meet the first lady. Okay, well, I'm going to have to. Well, we'll make that happen. <laughs> All right, so thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Governor. Thank you guys so very much. I'm 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 very honored and a little bit like taken aback, but I appreciate it so very much. So of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody.